Now, if we talk about the technicalities, um, like students come from AFK and then ACJ. So when they yeah. come to NDEC and they want to start preparing for it, the first and the foremost question they have is the loops. Because I think that is one of the biggest decisions uh, in terms of buying things, yeah. right? Because it is expensive and you want to buy the right thing which you can take with you to the clinics also. So what's your opinion about it? Okay, so you're bringing a very crucial point about the exam, which in my vision when I passed the exam and how I decided to lift up the level of the people that we have at Scholars to pass most of them from the first attempt yes. is working on the indirect things that can help you to pass the exam. True. And the indirect things, one of the top foremost of them was the loops part. Yes. People are always scared to get um, something higher magnification. Yeah. They're always, they say, we're safer to get what the sales representative from whichever loops company suggests for them. Mm -hmm. And these salespeople, they try to push you to get something that the most safe for them. You don't go back to them. Um, what's default in the market. And what's default in the market is the 2.5, 2.8x magnification of loops. Yeah. It's the safest option from people who went from no loops at all to using loops. Yeah. But if you get a 2.5x or if you get a 10x, you would have that two weeks or up to one month of headache and adjustment period. So yeah. if you get a 2.5x, you will get a headache. If you get a 10x, you will get a headache. If you... Like with the 2.5x, you will wait the time until you get used to it. With the 10x, you will also wait that exactly. one month to get exactly. used to it. But people are always fearful of getting the higher magnification. Now, we're not saying we need microscopes in order to go to the exam, but you would need to see closer. You would need to look at that class two prep closer mm -hmm. so you can make less mistakes and focus on the word we make less mistakes. True. We can diagnose more issues more. Yeah. and by making less mistakes by diagnosing more things that were not visible to the eye now it's visible with higher magnification then you're already increasing the chances of you passing yeah and most of the time the people who are failing in the exam are not the people who never saw a tooth in their life before in the exam we're going for competency we're competing with others true so competing means that we're already got to the level where we're competent we were just waiting for the NDB to say you're minimally competent, competent, or not competent. The people who are feeling not competent, not because they don't know what dentistry is. They just missed something very big, which jumped out of the typodont and made you fail the exam. Yeah. So having a good magnification loops is one of the biggest determinants to get um, passing the exam sooner than later. My recommendation for loops is there's always um, three systems for loops. Mm -hmm. So we have the Galilean system, we call it, mm -hmm. and then we have the prismatic systems. Okay. And in the last year, we got to know about the ergonomics. Ergonomics, yes. Loops. So Galilean system, it goes from 2.5, 2.8, maximum 3.5x, which is what most people buy. And then you've got the prismatic system is from 3.5x to 10x you can go, to 15x you can go. How much are you using now? Uh, I'm I'm using 5x. I'm using 6.5, and I recently got my 8.5x as well. Oh my God. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, tell me uh, which magnification you are using for evaluations here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> for Everybody should yeah. know that. Yeah. Yeah. For evaluation, I'm using my 5x. Okay. To keep it fair with everyone. Okay. However, when we do the work check on the camera, we know we're, we're zooming to 50x, yeah. but this is more like a demonstration for you guys or for the people who are doing the skills yeah. to see where the exact mistake is. Yeah. But most people in the market that we're gonna figure out when we work in the dental clinics, everybody's using 4.5, 5.5, 6.5. So we cannot go to the exam using 2.5 and assume that the dentist there will evaluate us with a 2.5. So basically this is a misconception. Like people say in the clinic you would require 2.5, that's it. Yeah, but that is not the not truth anymore. now. The thing is, yeah. Dr. Ramnik is uh, when you see closer, yeah. you have less eye strain. When you see farther away, you're trying to focus, you're trying to look at something, you're trying to find a canal, you're trying to find the debris, yeah. unsupported enamel. This is all strain. And strain drains you down. 
And if you get drained down, then you're more prone to make mistakes. So it is a big misconcept that get a bigger magnification, you would still be able to see, so for example, uh, for the sake of the argument, I use 6.5x. Mm-hmm. 6.5x is, makes me able to see 3 4 teeth mesially and 3 4 teeth distally. That's true. I, I use higher magn- magnification, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, but people perceive that with 4x, like what are you seeing? Only the tooth itself? It's not true. It's not true. It's not true, true but yeah. it's a big misconception out there in the market. Yes, it is. So now we're raising more awareness through our YouTubes, through our um, workshops that we're doing as scholars, yeah. that what contributed to our people passing from the first time, besides the concepts and being a better dentist overall, yeah. is using a higher magnification. And True. the default now at scholars is 6.5x that we're using, yeah. if you come to reality of it. Yeah. And it does take, it takes how much? Two weeks to get adjusted to it? It's an adjustment period that the same thing for 2.5, same thing same. for 10x. So yeah, it's I had, an adjustment period. I, it took me two weeks. So And I had never used the loops before. Yes. So I just jumped from no loops to a higher magnification. It was, it was fine. Absolutely. Like for now, I use my 5x for surgeries. I okay. use my 6.5x for restorative treatment. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and I use my 8.5x for endo. And... You would need more than a set you or two. You don't miss any access, right? Right? No and access. <laughs> no access. You no know, access no means access. no access. No access. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically the story behind it. But for the NDEB, never miss the chance to get a 5x minimum. Like, that's, start that's right. Good. Yeah. Like, don't get anything below that. And don't jump into just buying. See the difference between them. Speak to all the sales reps. They usually bring samples with them of 3x, 5x, 7x, 10x. Get to see the difference, but don't fall into the trap of buying 3x and 3.5x because if you want to pass the exam, from learning other people's mistake, which is the smart thing to do, is don't get a lower magnification. If you want to go on your own, do your own trial and error, you are more than welcome to do so, but... The error here can cost you a seat, can cost you six months to a year. It's a vicious cycle that nobody ever wants to go through You that. started your journey with lesser magnification, if I'm not I wrong. started with 2.5. And, and then... You cleared your co- exams. Yeah, with, with 5.5, which is the 5, 5.5 yeah. that I'm using. And once COVID happened, I wanted to look more into the loops. And that's how I got my knowledge about loops. And I started to test them all out. In fact, I made my own 6x loops. I know home. that. You I know saw that. Story. that. I saw yeah. that. So yeah, I saw that. I bought the frame alone. I bought the magnifications um, from a website in Italy. And I bought a mannequin. I bought an IP distance device. I did it all. I glued yeah. it with epoxy and it's working. I still use it. Omar, you should see that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, you should see that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's something still I'm so yeah, proud of myself that I did. And yeah. it's, it's awesome. I use it at the center there now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but that's extra. That's, Let's be real. But yeah. it's like minimum five, you say. Minimum five is if you want to start with the NDB and deck exam, mm-hmm. then don't fall into that trap. Get five X minimum and take my word for that. 